21 minutes past the hour. This is Newsday. Now, um, a, a new idea for somehow tackling cancer using the lessons of a hibernating bear. Uh, the suggestion is that uh, cells behave differently in hibernation. Now, humans don't hibernate, so what can we do about this? One of the researchers behind uh, this latest idea is Dr Matteo Cherry of the University of Bologna in Italy. Um, can you tell us, first off, what is the effect of hibernation on cells in, uh, in the sense that you're finding particularly interesting? Well, cells during hibernation uh, mostly stop replicating. This, in, in terms of cancer treatment, this is the most interesting fact. Uh, even cancer cells during uh, during uh, hibernation or torpor, they they just stay there and then don't replicate anymore. Those are all old experiments done in the 60s, and then all these research lines stopped because I mean there was nothing else to do after that. Uh, a few years ago, we came out with an idea and with a process to induce torpor in animals that usually don't do it, and we now try to translate it to larger animals. And uh, right, and and if one. and if you could translate it to humans, what would happen? You would send the person into what I understand you call a synthetic torpor, some kind right, of correct. artificial hibernation, and does that yeah. mean that the treatment will then will then carry on aimed at their cancer? Yeah, the idea is that during the synthetic torpor, you could use higher dosage of radiation since hibernation has protected the healthy cells. Somehow, cancer cells are not innervated, they have a different metabolism compared mm. to regular cells. And at that point, you could uh, somehow improve the protection that the surrounding tissue to the cancer has. And um, more than that, you can um, reduce the risk of having uh, resistant cancer lines. So the induction of uh, resistant. Uh, cancer to the treatment is is reduced because cancer is, cancer cells are not replicating. Right, now, and that's true also for chemo treatment. What an amazing idea! We know the various options available for cancer treatment. What people don't know, and what I don't know about, is yeah. is there any history of sending people into some kind of suspended animation, this kind of hibernation torpor that you talk of? There are a few natural cases that occur in medical history, medical record. A, a few are very detailed. We don't know the cause of this very rare disease. It wasn't even recognized as a disease, I guess, at the time. And there were in the 20s and the 30s in America some attempt to cool down cancer, cancer patients with this, I guess, pretty much idea. But at the time, you could just cool them down physically, and, and that's not quite the same thing as actually counterproductive. In terms that's of, absolutely uh, remarkable. So, so basically the core of this idea is that when animal cells go into hibernation, they stop dividing, and because, of course, a yeah. cancer is a, a mutantly di dividing cell, the cancer yeah. stops dividing as well. Yeah, exactly. That, that was proven in the 60s, at least for, for regular like marmot, I think, was the paper on it. Yeah, but I guess it's true also for every every kind of cancer and every kind of mammal. What an absolutely extraordinary idea. Many thanks okay. indeed. Uh, with the thinking behind that idea, uh, synthetic torpor is the phrase that uh, you need to bandy around if you're going to talk about that with your friends uh, later on. Uh, Dr Matteo Cherry, many thanks indeed, at the University of Bologna in Italy.